Moving over to the Los Angeles side, we don't really know if Josh Johnson will play. I think that he is less likely to play than Landry Jones is as of right now, but I think kind of regardless, Elijah Hood is a pretty good option at $15, mostly because I feel best about his role being steady. Played 71% of the snaps last week. Uh, that was second on the entire week behind James Butler, who will be in the next game. Hood had 12 carries and no targets. The zero targets, a concern, but he did run 24 routes on 44 dropbacks. So I want to spend up for Houston guys on this slate. Elijah Hood helps me do that while ensuring I'm going to have a player who will be on the field quite a bit. So I think Elijah Hood, I'd love him if Josh Johnson starts, but I like him a lot even if Josh Johnson does not. And I think he's a pretty standout value on this Sunday only slate. What about for you? Yeah, I mean, I'm still projecting out these games and and, uh, figuring out where the value might be based on workload. And Elijah Hood is the number one, uh, I think, running back value on a per dollar basis of the entire weekend. Uh, So therefore, by default on the Sunday slate. So we're not going to get based on based on week one, we're not going to get many workhorse running backs. Hood still wasn't that. But uh, you mentioned the, the routes were there, even though he didn't get any targets. 12 carries, the snap rate's up. I don't think that you can really ask for much more than a 70% snap rate uh, for a running back in this league unless things unless things change uh, moving yeah. forward. Hood's just in the best one of the best spots uh, of the weekend. 